Welcome to this lesson on designing user experience for AI application. I am Bethany Jobchumba, a cloud advocate at Microsoft, and I'll be taking you through understanding user experience, what is it, and how we can curate user experiences for AI applications. In this lesson, we'll cover three main topics. One, an introduction to user experience and understanding user needs. Secondly, we'll go into designing AI applications for trust and transparency. And lastly, going into designing AI application for collaboration and feedback. Let's get started. User experience is how a user interacts with a product or a service. It goes from when they're being onboarded to a product, how is the experience getting into the product, as well as how is the experience performing different tasks and different activities within the application. In this curriculum, we've been covering an AI startup that's building an educational project or an educational product. So I'll still be taking you through that. And for an educational product, our main users are the students and teachers. So we have these two main users who have very different capabilities as well as needs. That's why we need to build our AI application based on the user. This is a user-centered design that approaches and created solutions that are relevant and beneficial to the users. In doing this, we will focus on four key things in the user experience. Number one is functionality. Functionality is the AI application being able to do the task it is supposed to do to completion and doing it well. Secondly is accessibility. This is whereby the application does not discriminate or does not make someone not feel included when using the application. Thirdly is reliability. Reliability is the application being able to work or perform the tasks that it is stated to do consistently and without errors. Of course, AI cannot do things without errors, so we'll also be covering when errors occur, how do you handle the different errors. And lastly is pleasantness. Pleasantness is how the application is enjoyable. Does the user enjoy the experience? Is it something they can recommend to their friends? Is it something that they will keep coming back to? We've been able to understand how a user experience as a different application in terms of being able to enjoy, being able to complete a task and the task being completed by the application. For example, if it's a question you're asking, is that question answered to completion? But how does the user now come to trust that this answer that I've been given is what I need? This is the answer that corresponds to what I asked. That's around trust. So building trust is critical, especially when you're designing AI applications. And in this scenario, we're building an application that's imparting knowledge to the next generation, which is very critical. Trust ensures that the users, the students, and the teachers are confident that the application will, one, get the work done, two, deliver the results consistently, and three, the results match with the user needs. There's one, one main risk that's whereby someone overtrusts the system and they overestimate the capabilities of the system. Or there's the other one whereby the user does not trust the system, so it's mistrust. They do not trust what the results they're getting. They're like, this is AI, probably it is wrong. So how do you ensure there's a level of trust whereby a user does not overtrust or mistrust the application? Two main things come into play here. One is explainability and two is control. Explainability helps someone understand how exactly the application works, how exactly the application determines that this is the answer you're supposed to get versus this answer. So this is explainability, being able to understand how AI makes decisions. Designing for explainability means, for example, adding features like 
um, this application can generate summaries for you instead of saying, ah, I am your AI teacher. So you say, I can generate summaries from your notes. I can help you create flashcards to revise with and so on and so forth. Another example is for ex when AI is using personal data. How do you explain the use of this data you're collecting or how do you explain where you've gotten this knowledge from? It builds trust when you say, hey, this flashcard is biology means this and this because it's from your notes at this and this point. Or for example, a student may not be able to access direct answers to questions because they are a student versus a teacher who can be able to get direct answers. For students, it might be the AI trying to help them reach to the solution, but not actually giving them the solution immediately. Another key part in explainability is when you're designing, how do you ensure that the explanation you're giving is clear and simple enough for each and every person to understand? Be it a teacher, be it a student, do they understand what the application is doing? Do they understand how this answer has been reached to? So for example, you might be thinking, hey, this application summarizes your notes by using machine language and natural language processing to be able to give you this and this and this. For a student, it might be a complex explanation. So you might bring it to, you might simplify it a bit and say, this application reads your notes and make shorter versions of them for you, which is clear to different students regardless of the level of education they are on. The other concept is control. Generative AI generally brings a collaboration between different users. It might be the user creating a prompt and telling AI, do this and this for me, and AI giving you the output. Control comes into play when the user can, for example, modify the different prompts and generate different results from the prompt they already had. And then, of course, they can also be able to modify the results, giving them control of what they're doing. So, for example, when you're inputting a prompt in Microsoft Bing currently, you can say, uh, I want you to write for me an email on this and this. The tone should be probably professional. The format is an email and I want a short email. And you click generate draft. It will generate for you a, dra a draft on that. Then you can go on and say, okay, can you make it a bit more professional? Can you add a joke in there? And so on and so forth. Last section, you're gonna talk about collaboration and feedback when you're designing AI application. As I've earlier mentioned, one of the key aspects of generative AI is creating the collaboration between the user and the AI. But what if the output is not what the user expected? How can the user now come back and give feedback to AI and help improve it? Or the other thing is, how do we even communicate the AI capabilities and limitations beforehand so the user can be aware of um, what works and what it, the AI cannot do? One thing you can do is create a feedback loop that allows a user to rate, comment, or suggest improvements to the AI output. This can be done by simple adding features like a thumbs up button, a thumbs down button, thumbs up, very good reply, I love it, this is not very good, I think there's room for improvement, and then adding a text box where you can collect feedback from your users. Other than creating the collaboration and feedback loop, it also creates trust and a rapport within, between AI and your user. Another way whereby you can handle errors and feedback is by clearly communicating what the AI can and cannot do. For example, if Edu, our education startup application is trained only on math and history subjects, you can clearly outline it and say, hey, I'm trained on only AI and math, 
and that's what I can give feedback on, that's what I can create summaries on, and so on. So if a student comes in and asks a geography question, you can handle errors by replying using a text to say, hey, I'm sorry, I'm only trained on history and math, I cannot reply to the geography question that you've just asked. By doing this, you're not only helping the user to understand the capabilities of the model or the capabilities of the application, but also being respectful and helpful to the user. In summary, creating a application for collaboration and feedback is crucial. It creates a positive user experience and ensures that the AI system is reliable, always giving replies when possible and always being able to accept mistakes and correct them as we move on. Thank you so much for being with me in this lesson. I have one challenge for you whereby I would love you to explore and see how you can create a user experience of how a user would opt in and opt out of data collection in the AI application. This is crucial because it enables the user to have control over what data they are giving the application. If it wants the application to go through uh, notes over the whole school year or halfway through the year for revision, it's also key. And see you in the next lesson.